Hi, and welcome to my channel, Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia, and I used to weigh 327 pounds, and I currently weigh 262 pounds. And today I'm going to show you what I've meal prepped for myself this week, and also all the food that I have in my household. I'd like to let you know that I became, well, I started eating like a vegan in January of 2023. The reason why I chose to stop eating meat, table sugar, oil, and dairy products is because I felt like the meat was tainted with growth hormones and other dangerous things to put in my body. And so if the meat was tainted, I didn't want to eat the dairy. And I decided to stop eating sugar when I saw a documentary that showed how lab rats preferred table sugar over cocaine. And as far as the oil is concerned, I decided to limit my intake on that due to the fact that oil has been proven to clog people's veins and cause heart attacks and other issues. So I figured uh, it's not necessary for me to eat it, but I do continue to use oil as um, in my skin products and my, um, my homemade skin products and hair products. So this is what I've meal prepped for myself this week. Please excuse me for not actually having the dish <laughs> out. I've been trying to catch up with recording videos since my phone fell in the um, water. So these are organic sweet snap peas, just like these right here. And this is a mixture of, turn off that glare here. Okay, good, that's better. This is a mixture of potatoes and two different types of mushrooms. So I have black beans, potatoes, two different types of mushrooms. I called myself making my own special seasoning and this line right here is nutritional yeast and chili powder mixed together. So this is what I had to eat for this week. and. Out of a 10, I would rate this meal a 4.2. I'm trying to do better with getting more creative with vegan meals. So <laughs> yeah, I really did enjoy the um, mushrooms as well as the black beans and the potatoes were so-so. I do feel like they could have used more seasoning. And my breakfast for this week consisted of carrots, Persian cucumbers, sweet snap peas, and these, um, I think they're called heirloom tomatoes. Yeah, so that's what I've had to eat for this week. Up here you see my smoothie ingredients. I have some vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and some honey back there. Some popcorn kernels. I did cook some popcorn kernels with, for myself and because of that experience, I um, the oil burned, it smelled at my house, the popcorn kernels did not taste as good. Um, I'm going to buy an air popper off of Amazon so that I can enjoy those kernels more. Right now, down here is where I like to keep my water. I like to have a lot of water on hand. I find that when you have water on hand, you drink more of it. So I keep my water right here on hand. And now let's look into my freezer. Okay, up here is where I keep my pre-made, whoa to fall. I keep my pre-made sick bags. So when I'm ill, I have lemon, water, and honey already made together as a tea so that all I have to do is open this up, put it in a pan, 
warm it up and drink. I don't have to worry about cutting up lemons or cooking anything or anything like that. So it's already made, which helps me out a lot. It makes it easier for me to eat when I'm not feeling too good. These are my smoothie ingredients. I am trying really hard to um, finish these off so that I can buy some more fresh fruit for my smoothie. So these are, I don't wanna keep buying fresh fruit and having this stuff stay in here. So I choose to finish all this stuff off and then buy more fresh fruit. These are organic green grapes organic red grapes, organic bananas and banana peels, and we have some organic orange peels and lemon peels. Man, I, I would really strongly advise you to please start putting your fruit peels in the blender and drinking it because it makes it gives me so much energy. Rather than buying an energy drink, put your fruit pills in the blender, blend them up, and enjoy. I like to add honey and cinnamon. And then my last ingredient for my smoothies that I currently have is sweet potato skins. Right here is a bunch of extra Ziploc bags from fruit that I ran out of, like mango, pineapple, um, strawberries. So I'm saving those for when I buy some more fruit. Right here is organic flour that I read on the packaging that you can freeze in order to keep it lasting longer. And these are my pre-made beans and rice so that if I feel extra hungry, if I think I'm gonna be extra hungry that day, I can take those with me and eat those rather than going out and getting fast food. On this side, this is my um, black beans that I've meal prepped for this week. I only have two more of these left because I plan on meal prepping again in a few more days. And I want to highly recommend that if you eat organic food, please freeze it if you can. Obviously, you can't freeze lettuce. But by freezing my organic food, I find that I don't run into issues with it spoiling. I have been running into more and more issues of my food spoiling because organic food goes faster, goes bad so much faster. So I just turned on my refrigerator successfully. Now it's gonna make a bunch of noise. And um, these are some beans that I plan on having today that are just thawing out. All right, now my refrigerator is going to look a little bare because I'm going to go shopping in two more days. So, let me see. Let's do it this way. All right, so right here you have some avocados and then you have bananas. There's some oranges and lime. For the first time, I tried organic oranges and I'm hoping that they will become a staple in my life because they taste so good and so sweet. Here are some Persian cucumbers. I'm going to start buying the regular organic cucumbers as opposed to these because I'm kind of tired of them looking like they have atrophy. Like they look all wilted from time to time. See, like right here. So I bought some regular cucumbers because they didn't have any of these available at the time that I was shopping. And I found that, oh my, um, they weren't regular cucumbers. They were organic cucumbers that were the regular size, large size of a cucumber. And I noticed that it made my nails stronger almost instantly. And so it also lasted in the refrigerator much, much better than the Persian cucumbers. And back here, there's some heirloom tomatoes and some sweet peas. I just started eating these this week. At first I didn't like them, but then I got used to it and I, I think I'm gonna make it a staple 
as um, constantly being a part of my refrigerator. Now, this is new. I have been wanting to prep for an emergency in case like we go to war or something happens where grocery stores can't supply us with food. Um, are essentially disaster preparedness. So I've got some food right here on this level that I am not allowed to touch. It contains, I'm not allowed to touch it unless the grocery stores cannot provide us with food. So I have some oatmeal. Woo. And I have dried fruit and nuts. So with me moving these two levels, you can see that there are some different types of nuts. And then over here, there's more nuts. Where's my dried fruit? <laughs> well, back there in there, there's going to be some other dried fruit. Like you see some raisins here, some apricots. And over here, there's something back there. So, um, yeah, I also have extra seeds and soil in case I need to grow my own vegetables for a while. Just so if the nation goes to war or some type of a catastrophe occurs, I won't have to rely on a food pantry or FEMA um, distributing food. I'll know that I have something to tide me over for a little while. I don't know about you, but when I went into the grocery stores during the pandemic, people were very crazy. Um, and I'd rather avoid dealing with that. So I know I have a little stash. And also the reason why I barricade all this food with, um, well, I won't get into that. I'll just say, I have to cover up my nut. Never mind. <laughs> so, down here on this level, I have some mushrooms from, for my meals, for meal prepping. And then I have some water. I have these pistachios right here that I hide behind my carrots. I wasn't supposed to eat these. I wasn't supposed to touch it, but I did. So, because those were part of my emergency preparedness. <laughs> so I'm gonna be buying some more nuts so I don't have to eat my emergency preparedness food because it, it's very tempting. So in this Red Vines container, I have a bunch of carrots. Now on over here to the side of my refrigerator, I taped my herbs to this section right here so that I could effectively use my space. And then this is some organic oatmeal that I can eat from. It's not part of my emergency preparedness. This is quinoa. And these are some beans that I picked up at the dollar store. They're not organic, but I needed to grab something right quick and I wasn't near the natural food store. So I grabbed those. Here are my baking supplies. Baking powder, baking soda, maple syrup, and here is some basmati rice and fenugreek seeds. I'm gonna stop buying white rice because I did my research on the healthiest rice and I learned that black rice, red rice, wild rice, and brown rice has the most nutrients. So therefore, I'm going to start buying those. All right, now we're going to go to my food pantry area. All right, so on this level, I have my smoothie straws and my knives and also my handheld blender. You can't tell. You can't see it because it's on the other side. So right here are the parts to my handheld blender and the blenders on the other side. Then I have um, these pot lids. So 
some extra pots right here. And down here, I keep my cooking supplies like baking stuff and whatnot. There's skewers, there's nutritional yeast, there's Ziploc bags, there's parchment paper, saran wrap, black pepper, white pepper, red chili peppers, salt. All this stuff is down here that I reach from for the most part um, when I'm cooking. Some chili powder, so this is my go-to area for cooking. And then down here, I have my extra Ziploc bags that I'm not gonna use anytime soon, extra salt, and yeah, that's about it. My travel, salt and pepper, an extra thing of chili powder. So that's what I have down there. So thank you very much for being a part of my health journey. I appreciate you all watching. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to let me know. I will see you all later on tonight. Goodbye.